Hey guys, it's Brie. Welcome back to my channel. I told y'all in my last video that you girls on a spending freeze right now, okay? I'm gonna be using makeup products that I already have in my collection. You guys may or may not have seen them before. Actually, no, I am filming with new products today. Well, it's new on my channel, but it's actually not a new release. So yeah, I do have some new stuff for you guys today. But we're gonna, you know, we're gonna keep the cost, cost down, okay? We're trying to be a little bit, how should I say this? Uh, cheap, frugal, we don't have to go out and buy new products all the time. I wanted to show you guys a really cute, sexy night out makeup look, you know, and um, your girl's pregnant, but that's not gonna stop me from looking snatched. I mean, who said you have to be frumpy and pregnant? I was doing that a few months ago, but uh-uh. I had to snap out of it. So today I'm gonna be filming with my Artist Couture palette. Now I haven't said anything about this palette on my channel yet, so I figured I would show you guys this palette because I have been getting a lot of use out of it, and this is actually a product that I would really recommend. I'm not doing a review on this palette, but you guys should know going into this tutorial, I highly recommend this. I mean, the shades in this palette, Jewel Tones, Screams Brianna. Like, my name is written all over this, literally. If you guys wanna see how I achieved this half cut crease, make sure you guys keep watching. And before you keep watching, make sure you subscribe, okay? I'm watching you. Click the button. All right, let's get into it. Let's get this thing started. I'm gonna start this eyeshadow look with my ABH primer, and I'm gonna set that down on the lids, being very careful not to use too much. I'm gonna start with this brow bone shade and I'm gonna blend this all underneath my brow bone and it's gonna serve as a transition color. By the way, if you're wondering about my brows and how I get them so fleeky, you should check out my brow video that I posted because it's pretty informative and I get a lot of comments about my brows so if you wanna know how I do my brows, I do have a video posted. Now I'm gonna be going in with this deeper transition shade and I'm gonna use this along the outer corners and I'm gonna bring this from the outer corner of my eye up towards like the center of my brow. It's time for some color. Now we're gonna be using this hot pink matte shade and I'm pressing this color in because I do want to have the pigment show up. I'm gonna use the remaining product that's on the brush and I'm gonna bring that in the inner corner just a little. I'm gonna use the deep purple matte shade and I'm gonna focus this shade right here because I'm trying to build up the color. Now I'm gonna use my ABH Soft Glam Palette and I'm going in this palette so that I can use this black shade. And I'm gonna pack this black shade on really heavily. So you guys can see how this looks really, really harsh right now. We're gonna get rid of that. So I'm gonna go back into the Artist Couture palette, going back into the pink shade, and I'm gonna start blending the outer corners. Now 
gonna be doing a cut crease and I'm gonna try to bring my cut crease up pretty high and pretty round and I'm gonna stop it halfway. Now I'm gonna blend this in with my finger. He gonna say you crowd in my space one day. Tell me it's not it's flaky. It's the cut crease though. The cut crease. It's ooh, I outdo myself. Now we're gonna be using the pink metallic shade, and I'm gonna fill in this entire cut crease. Now I'm going into the deeper purple shade in the palette. I'm gonna use my finger to apply this purple shade right in the center. And it gives the look a little bit more sparkle. Going back into the black shade. Using the purple shade again. Now I'm gonna take my black eyeliner and I'm gonna do a very thick black line. And I think I'm gonna do it without the wing. This is the Sephora High Precision Eyeliner. That's what I'm looking for. Snatch. I guess nobody ever told you how you must hold on to. Is you, is you, is you. Do y'all see what's about to happen here? I'm about to be stunting on you home, so like, come on. What you wanna do? What, what you wanna do? We're gonna use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer as always. For foundation, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, and this is in the shade Butter Pecan. I like to use this foundation in the winter because if I use this foundation in the summer, I'm gonna look like a sweaty pig, and I don't have time to look like a filthy animal. I like this foundation in the winter because I feel like it still keeps my skin looking radiant without getting oily. For right now, I can use this, but when it starts getting hot outside, I gotta put this baby on the shelf. Can't play like that. I'm feeling like since my eyes are pretty dramatic, I can go medium coverage on the skin and still be cute. Now for concealer, I'm also gonna use my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, and this is in the shade Butterscotch. This is one of my favorite concealers to use. Coverage is nice. I love the applicator. And their colors are really pretty in this foundation as well. We can't let go. Oh, someone. 
Now we're going to be using the Beauty Bakery setting powder. This is in the shade Plantain. This is actually my mom, so. <laughs> I have this one in yellow. I really like yellow, but this one is a little bit more of a natural setting powder. So I'm going to use this one under my eye. Now I'm gonna be contouring my nose and I'm gonna be using the Fenty Matchstick in this shade. Why can't I say shade? So now I'm gonna be contouring my nose and I'm gonna use the Fenty Matchstick in the shade Truffle. To contour my cheekbones, I'm going to use my Huda Beauty Tantor. I'm going to use this in the shade Medium. And the reason why I'm using this instead of my Truffle Matchstick is because I feel like this is a little bit easier to blend over foundation and it doesn't really tug the foundation as much as the Matchstick does. The Matchsticks are a little bit more dry in the formula. And I don't want my contour to be very heavy today. I'm gonna do it very lightly. I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Bronzer today and I use the shade Coco Naughty. This shade is pretty warm and I'm kind of like going for a warm, subtle glow on the face. And I'm gonna pat a little bit of that on my forehead as well. I'm gonna use my Amrezy highlighter. I'm back into using this highlighter again. I don't know what it is, but this highlighter is so pretty. You have to make sure that you blend out this highlighter really well, especially if you have brown skin because it can start to look a little bit stark if it's not blended out well. Now we're gonna go back in with the eyes and I'm gonna line my waterline with the black eye pencil. Ooh, that just made it look even more like. I'm gonna go in with the deep purple shade. So now I'm gonna add lashes, mascara, and I'll be right back. Did y'all see what's going on here? Do y'all see how fabulous this is? I mean, this is, this is, this is, ooh, mm. So now I'm gonna move on to the lips because I have my lashes on and I just, I, I look like I'm going to the club, but guess where I'm not going tonight? The club, you know why? Because I'm nine months pregnant. <laughs> For lips, I'm gonna be starting off with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Confused. It looks pretty ugly right now, but don't worry. 
Next, I'm gonna go in with this pink shade called Milkshake from Anastasia, and I'm gonna apply that in the center. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that. And I'm gonna top it off with a gloss from Lorac, and this shade is in Barista. I'm gonna use BFF3 from ColourPop to line the Cupid bow area. So I want a little bit more definition. here. I don't like that. I love the lip combination, um, the color that I used, but uh, it's getting like really tacky right here, so I don't think I would recommend these, uh, this combination to y'all, so y'all might not want to do that. This is the completed look. My face is sit, sit, sitting, okay? I think it looks so pretty, it's just, who said you have to be frumpy just cause you're pregnant? I mean, I can be sexy and pregnant, right? Right? I hope that y'all really enjoyed this. I had fun creating this, and I feel like I just wanna start having fun with makeup again. Like, I don't wanna be worried about doing reviews. I just wanna do things that make me happy, you know what I mean? And today I felt like doing a glamorous, sexy night out look, and that's what y'all got. So I really hope that y'all enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And also make sure you guys turn on your notification bell so that you guys can be notified every single time I upload. And I know my schedule is a little bit inconsistent, so that's even more of a reason for you guys to turn on your notification bell. Talk to me in the comments. If you guys wanna reach out to me on other social media, I do have Instagram, so you guys can follow me at Breeze Louise. I'll leave the link in the description bar, and I'll see you guys in the next video.